Queen News. Monarch felt Meghan and Harry were erratic and impulsive about royal exit. Royal biographer Robert Lacey said the Queen believed Meghan and Harry had been erratic and impulsive in their behavior as they approached their decision to leave the company. In the new book titled Battle of Brothers, the royal expert details Harry's relationship with Prince William, which reportedly collapsed completely during the infamous Sandringham Summit in January. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially stepped down from the senior royal duties and became financially independent at the end of March. As part of the divorce deal, the Queen banned the couple from using the Sussex royal brand. And Mr. Lacey says the move was made because the monarch could not trust them with the prestigious title he wrote. The Queen deliberated for several weeks and then ruled that Harry and Meghan cannot use Sussex Royal as a brand name to market their wares and various activities in North America. It has been reliably reported that Her Majesty remains sympathetic towards her grandson and granddaughter. She wished them luck in their new life in Canada and her eighth great-grandchild, of course, but it has also been said by those who know that the couple's this erratic and impulsive behavior over the past year had not prompted Queen Elizabeth II to entrust the Sussexes with using the word royal anytime soon. The biography explains the relationship within the royal household began to fall apart when Meghan and Harry were banned from appearing in photos as the Queen gave her Christmas speech in 2019. Meghan and Harry hoped to use the Sussex Royal brand, which had appeared on their website and Instagram feed, but books claim that the monarchy was not consulted on the brand and became furious. The book says hopping was a sweet description of the family's anger. In another excerpt from the book, serially published in the Daily Mail, it says, but there were certain issues that Queen Elizabeth II would not compromise on, and the chief one was the authority of the crown. The book says that when the Queen summoned Harry and William for the meeting, the Duke of Cambridge refused to have lunch with his younger brother ahead of the time and left him to have dinner alone with their grandmom. According from friends of William, the book read, William maintained his distance for the summit of Sandring and the Queen had suggested that the family get together for lunch before their big powwow in the library this afternoon, but he turned down his grandmother's invitation. Meghan Markle beams while talking about Archie. We are doing so well. Meghan Markle was all smiles when she appeared in a video interview with Prince Harry for Black History Month in the United Kingdom. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were in their home in Montecito in California but indulged in a UK publication who asked if there is a brief update about their son Archie Harrison. In a rare comment, Michael revealed that she feels very lucky for having Archie, who is apparently an active baby. The Duchess of Sussex said their son likes to be all over the place and he keeps his parents always on the toes. Megan also said that they're doing so well in the new home, she could not help but exclaim that their son has been such a good baby. Prince Harry, on the other hand, turned serious and talked about the real matter at hand, celebrating Black History Month. He revealed that he used to lack awareness about how people with different skin colors are often overlooked or marginalized, but he believes that these are exciting times because there is a cultural shift about equality and it's not just in Britain but all over the world. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took this time to reveal a list of Black History Month next-gen trail blazers. These are a group of British citizens who have delivered lasting positive impact in the country's culture. The royal peer said that Britain is better because of these trail blazers. The Sussex couple explained that having these trail blazers is very significant to representation. They will help open the doors of opportunities for colored people because their successes and triumphs will also reflect on the black community in the UK. The list included education expert Dr. Nicola Rollock, poet Salip Femi, the Black Curriculum Founder, CEO, Lavinia Stannett, Disability Campaigner, Daniela Orelova, Jeanet, and Gal Dem Magazine Founder, Liv Little. They were nominated by rapper Dave British Borg, editor Edward Annenfall, Baroness Doreen Lawrence, actress Michelle Coyle, a rugby player Mauro Etoje and author Bernardine Evaristo and photographer Mason Harriman. Megan 
closed the interview with a statement on Black Lives Matter. She said that the movement is quite different in the U.S. compared to the U.K., especially with the upcoming presidential elections. While some sectors claim the movement is causing a political divide, Meghan Markle said that if people look at the objective on the ground level, then there is nothing controversial about it. The energy is from the same place, a need for equality.